Hi, it's Jeff Challen. So let's look at the existing Lab 12 layout together. So right now, this layout only has a single element as part of it. This element is one of the elements that we're going to refer to as a layout. And its purpose is to orient or organize other elements. So you'll notice that this linear layout uh, right now consumes the entire screen. Um, but there's really nothing visible about it. It doesn't have any visible components. And that's a characteristic of this particular type of UI element is that um, it exists um, only to help organize things that we put inside it. It doesn't actually uh, have any content of its own. Um, so to see how it works, we actually have to put some stuff inside it. And so let's just have some fun with this. Um, you know, uh, how about I stick an image view in here? Um, an image view, well actually I need to pick an image to do that, so I won't do that. So let's take a button, that's a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna put one button, um, I'll put a text view inside. Um, let's see here, grab another widget like a, uh, maybe a horizontal progress bar, okay. Um, and so now I'm starting to see what, what's happening here. So as I, as I add elements in here, uh, what's happening is that they're being um, added into this container. So the linear layout still uh, you know, spans the entire screen. And as I add things one by one, uh, the linear layout is stacking them from top to bottom. And they're stacked in the order in which they are, are put into the container. So you'll see here my text views on top. I have a progress bar here, um, which this is like a horizontal progress bar that you might see that goes from zero to 100. Um, let me put a seek bar in there, and that's a little bit easier to see. There we go, and I'll get rid of the progress bar. Um, so I've got you know this type of UI element that I can, you know, uh, oh, sorry, I can't actually interact with it. So here's an example of how it actually might look, right? Halfway, like a, this might be something that you use for showing how far a video or a song has played, and then I've got a button on the bottom. And one of the characteristics of this particular type of, of layout is that each element spans the entire, um, entire width of the layout. That's because this is a, a linear layout that's vertical. So let's see what happens if we convert this um, to a horizontal linear layout. Um, now what I can see is that um, these other UI elements are, are gone. They're actually off the side of the screen. Um, and the reason is that this text view. So now what my linear layout is doing is it's putting things side by side. And this text view is taking up the entire, um, the entire space. And so what I need to do in order to make other things visible is I need to make this text view a little bit um, narrow. So the original um, width of this text view over here in the attributes bar was match parent. What that means is that it's going to be as wide as its parent container. Its parent container is as wide as the entire screen. And so the problem is because the linear layout is now organizing these from left to right, the text view being as wide as the linear layout itself pushes everything else um, off the side of the screen. And you can see that it's giving me a warning about the orientation being wrong. Um, and that's because a bunch of things are not visible. So I'm gonna now uh, make this wrap content. So what does that mean? That means it's only gonna be as wide as the content of the text view right now, which is this string. Um, then the seek bar, again, is the layout width says match parent. So I'm gonna say wrap content again. So that's gonna make it smaller. And then go back to my button. Layout width says match parent. I'm gonna say wrap content. And so now all of my elements are smaller. And you know, a seek bar this large is probably not all that, not all that useful. Uh, but the goal here was just to show you the difference between this, this horizontal linear layout and a vertical linear layout. So let me now show you what happens if I convert this back into a vertical linear layout. So now you can see again that these elements are being stacked top to bottom. And there's all this dead space over here now on the right side of the screen that um, you know, it's not particularly helpful um, in the sense that if I was building an actual UI, um, all of this area over here is not being used. And so uh, that, that may not be a great design decision. Um, I can start going back to these and, and making them full width again, right? And that'll help a little bit. Um, so I'll match parent. Now they're gonna be as wide as the parent container. Um, but this, this gives you just some sense of how a linear layout works and some of its limitations. So <laughs> linear layouts are designed to 
help organize content. You can organize the content either vertically or horizontally. Um, if you organize the content vertically, it usually makes sense to have things um, you know, as wide as the in entire display. Um, if you organize them horizontally, you have to think a little bit more carefully about the width um, in order to make sure that things are all visible.